Here we go, girl. Finally. Here it comes. Go. Maybe we can get a towel. Okay. Oh, she's gonna move. <laughs> It's a little buckling, but its head was just out first, and the feet, the feet both feet were back, so it's so hard for her to, her to get both shoulders out at the same time. Yeah. You're doing good. You're doing good. I'm sorry. I had to pull on you. It's okay. Let's put this baby by you so you can love on that baby. There you go. There you it's go. It's going to be okay, man. That was a hard pull. I was hoping it wasn't. Very quiet. Of course, she has a little buckling. Yep. God damn. Oh, boys. All right. That was an eventful delivery. I was not expecting that. So, when you have just the head presenting, which is not normal, you don't usually just have a head, but when you do have just the head presenting, you have the option to either stick your hand in there and grab the legs, because a lot of people will take that head push it all the way back in and get the legs out because they just deliver easier that way. But he was pretty little and she was already starting to push the shoulders out. So I just went for it and pulled on the head. Not too hard though, because you gotta be careful. Um, and I think he's okay. Stressful when stuff like that happens because you're having to make these decisions like immediately. But, um, and I just pulled when she was uh, pushing. And then when she's not pushing, I don't really pull. I just kind of hold there where we're at. Think it's gonna stay dark, or you think it'll lighten up more like? I think it's gonna lighten up into like a light brown, like a chocolate, mm -hmm. like how Zorro is. Yeah, it looks kind of like Zorro. Huh? All right, I'm gonna go get ready. Okay. Oh, what a cutie! <laughs> He's tiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's tiny, but man, that head. <laughs> he got Just it. that head was out. Oh my gosh, he's such good colors. Just like all yeah, black and white. I think he's going to be chocolate though, like oh, Zoro. Oh, he looks so cool. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's one little boy? Yeah. He sure is a little guy. Let's see if we can hold you up to mama. <laughs> You're strong. You're fighting me. There we go. You're almost there. You're almost there. You got it. You got it, little boy. Come on. 
So he's acting a little bit, um, a little bit weak. Like he's not, he's probably in a little bit of a shock. So I gave him a little bit of selenium uh, gel and vitamin E, which I don't think that that's it, but it's just something I wanna make sure that he's not deficient in. And then gave him a little bit of this cayenne pepper extract, which helps just kind of get his blood pumping and get him energetic and back to uh, back to life here. But our biggest thing now is we gotta get him to eat. We gotta get him to stand, we gotta get him to eat. Okay, little guy, you are not getting up as fast as I'd like you to. Well, you're strong enough to fight me off a little bit, so can't be that bad, huh? Can't be that bad. Just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. A little bit on your tongue. Ooh, that's a little bit strong. There we go. Oh. He's learning how to walk. Little bit wobbly, but he'll figure it out. Just gotta get every last bit of mucus off of him. Those are big old teeth. <laughs> finally. Good job. You finally get a nurse. Oh Good my goodness. Job. Barely fits in your mouth, but you got it. You got it. I just have to hold it sideways for you. <laughs> there you go. My goodness. So dramatic. Oh, he's a screamer. Yeah, he is. Okay, we have a new little baby buckling <laughs> on the farm, but I'm so glad it went fairly well. It was a little bit stressful there to pull the head out. Normally the head doesn't really present on its own, so that was a little bit scary, but we're good now. So uh, we're tired. We got to go to a high school football game right now with our kids, but tomorrow morning we're going to get to cuddle the little guy, so that'll be exciting. The next morning and this is the best part because when you get to come out and see the little baby for the first time since delivery good morning hello why's your tongue out do you have a baby she's just licking it done <laughs> can you let her out yeah you can just leave it open hello oh my goodness yeah <laughs> hello how are I you? Chocolate baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love him. <laughs> so cute. Why are little babies so cute? Just their little faces. Okay, so what we have to do, Lydia, is figure out if he is pulled. Oh yeah. So pulled means that they don't have any horns. So you've either got a horned goat or a pulled goat. Now, since Zorro is pulled, meaning he never grew horns, there's a 50-50 chance that him and Hazel together would create a pulled baby. And remember, Zorro bred Stella when Stella was here, and she had two babies that were both horned, so they, they got the horned genes. But we're gonna see if this baby is pulled. All right, so the first thing she said to look for were the little swirls. Usually they'll have a little swirl, and that's what I noticed right away, that he did not have swirls. Oh my, oh my goodness. And so that's our first sign that he is pulled. And then the second sign is, is to feel for little buds and he doesn't have any buds. And then the last thing to be absolutely sure is to see if the skin moves right over where the horn would be and it does. So I think he's definitely pulled. Oh my goodness. So we're not gonna have to disbud him. That's, that's so nice. Are you gonna sleep now? You look just like daddy. You do. He doesn't have a Z. He has a backwards C. Or an apostrophe. Or a comma. 
So what are some of your favorite names? Oh gosh, I haven't even started looking yet. I like, these are just random names. I like Henry. <laughs> okay. And Bruno. And maybe Dawson. Dawson, okay, that's cute. I mentioned on Instagram that if Hazel had a doling, I was gonna consider, you know, keeping it. But since she had a buckling, that's not gonna happen. So, uh, but we just like to give them a name because they're gonna be here for the next 10 to 12 weeks. So we like to have something to call them, even if the new owners don't keep that name. So those are some of Lydia's favorites, but uh, we'll have to do a poll and uh, let you guys know. Your baby is right here. The it's boys right. always seem so chill in the beginning, but then they turn buck <laughs> They do. So you have to enjoy when they're babbies. They get, they get naughty. And we say babbies because it's from that old Little Women movie that, <laughs> that I used to make Lydia watch. And the, the nanny calls them babbies <laughs> instead of babies. You are really cute. Is that a little smile? Huh? Are you happy now? Yeah, we gotta hold him all day. I'm gonna make Ethan come out here and Dad come out here. <laughs> We're all gonna take turns. <laughs> oh, cute baby goat. Yeah, he's cute. What's your favorite name? Uh, do we have a list? No, we're just kind of like coming up with some. I'm gonna have people put in the comments some of their favorites. Humperdink. Humperdink. <laughs> okay. Hazel and Humperdink. Hank. <laughs> I think I H names. I don't lick me. Oh, she wants to. Better. She wants to clean you off. All right, let's get some name suggestions. I don't think we're gonna go with a theme. I mean, just think of what fits him. Now his daddy is Zorro, and he seems like a copy and paste of his dad. So it'd be kind of fun to name something along those lines. But we're up for anything. So if you have suggestions, put them down below. All right guys, thanks for joining us. We are so glad that everything turned out okay and we have a cute little buckling. Although it would have been really cool to have a dueling. That's okay. Um, and we're just gonna spend this week resting up, snuggling the baby, getting lots of footage of them, and we'll see you next Friday. If you wanna watch videos of all the other births on our farm, you can click right here.